Hi ho friends and welcome back to the Snug Bungalow where we are going to look through a bag of my thrift store finds. Now before we get started, I just need to tell you that here in Virginia we are going through the time that I have dubbed the pollening which is a time when everything outside, your car, everything on your porch, your whole house, all of your plants, um, your furniture that's out on the porch, just everything outside is yellow. It is covered with pollen and it stays that way for two weeks. Um, your dog is covered in pollen when he comes back inside and my sinuses are having none of it. So I sound like I'm stuffy because I am stuffy. I'm having a moment of allergies. So I may have to stop the video several times to sneeze or blow my nose or get a drink or clear my throat or who knows all the fun possibilities that could go on today. So um, because I'm not feeling 100% stellar, we're not gonna do any of the extra stuff today. We're just gonna look through a very large bag of my thrift store finds. Some of the things I'm keeping for me, but I just wanted to show you because they're so cool. Um, and we're just gonna look at what I got and talk about it. And that's gonna be the whole video. So I'm still working on the video of um, my like Easter slash spring decor. That should probably come out um, at the early part of next week, hopefully. Um, getting close on that one. Um, and there's some very cool stuff in there, so you're going to definitely want to see it. But let's just dive right in. Two of the very first things, because you know I love Christmas, and I love to start or end with Christmas, if at all possible, are things that I found for myself in, you know, that most wonderful of bins moments where I just walk up to a bin and it's just full of Christmas ornaments um and then I get a little sweaty and I start getting a little grabby but nobody else is there for Christmas ornaments so there's absolutely no competition generally um but I found both of these and they are so cool this first one is plastic and as you can see it is heavily glittered it is an ice cream bar with a bite out of it. Um, it reminds me of those strawberry ones that you can get that are like kind of strawberry cake-ish ones. I'm sure that they have a name that everyone knows and I don't know it, um, but I used to get them like all the time in school at lunch and I'm very excited about this. Um, and then this one is glass but it is a double-decker ice cream cone also covered in glitter also covered in confetti and um if you don't know I love ice cream like I love ice cream like I love Christmas um and my favorite having grown up in New York State is frozen custard um you can't really find that a lot of places so whenever I am near a place that has frozen custard I lose my mind with joy okay so those are the first two things off to a great start, Christmas, glitter, ice cream. Um, okay, this bag is so full. I'm going to just try to pull out whatever I can first. A lot of the stuff that we're going to go over today is dolls. Um, that's not what I have to show you here <laughs> first, but um, I found another Minnie Mouse ears. And it has so much great detail like so fancy. Um, it must come from the parks, I'm assuming, because of just the level of fancy that it is. Um, the tag is gone, but um, I have two other ones that I found recently. Um, I don't know if somebody's just getting rid of their collection really, really slowly <laughs> or what, but um, I haven't sold any of the other ones. I think just one of them is listed currently, but I don't know. It makes me excited. I love Disney. I love Disney parks, so... And some of that stuff can sell pretty well, so take a chance. Okay, these are very stuck together. So I found a set of, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these apart. We'll just pretend. Tiny lampshades. These are the kind of lampshades that clip on. I think I've shown some of these before. There was like a set of three that were beaded. Um, they were really cool. These are like um, sort of a muted teal color. 
and I've got one, two, three, four, five of them, it looks like. Um, and these can go for some good money. I sold a set that was like possibly a little bit nicer than, than this um, for about $60. I think it was a set of six um, and they were in gold and burgundy colorway. So I don't know, even if I could get half of that for these, I'd be happy. But one of the tricks is always look inside to make sure that it's not um, burned from the light bulb that was inside because sometimes they can get, um, you know, browned or yellowed inside from the heat of the light. Okay, let me see if I can get this out. All right, let's do this one first. This is also for me. This is a paper parasol. And I want to see if I can show you how pretty it is. It's got this big bird here. And I just think it's like gorgeous. Got the cherry blossoms happening. Um, and two little birds there. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this, but I am hopeful um, that I might use it in my dining room. I put up a whole bunch of um, paper lanterns in that room. They aren't lit or anything, but I just love um, paper lanterns so much. So I put some of my collection up on the ceiling of that room. We have really high ceilings, so they're not in the way of anything. And I might hang that one upside down possibly. <clears throat> that room because it is so cool. This is very silly and cute. Let me untangle it here. <sighs> veggie Tales. This is like the second Veggie Tales thing that I have found recently, um, which is very funny to me. Um, I know a lot of people grew up with Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales came out when I was in college, so. Um, I watched a couple of the movies and liked them because they were very silly and funny and it comes with an attached cord and a candy cane that you move from day to day for the advent calendar leading up to Christmas. It's just plain on the back. Oh, it still has its original tag, which I did not see. And it has Bob and Larry on the tag. Let's see if it gives us a date, 2007. So I thought that was very cute. Who doesn't love a good advent calendar? Um, I have three, I think. <laughs> All right, maybe I love advent calendars like a little too much, but I have one that I hunted down from my childhood, um, like through a very long period of time. I remembered having a paper advent calendar that looked like a little shop and it had little windows that you would open up um and I could not find it anywhere I didn't really know I thought that maybe um it was a Hallmark product and I had searched for years and years as, as an adult my mom couldn't really like remember very much about it um but then one night I was standing in my kitchen getting ready to go to bed and I caught a whiff of a scent a hint of a scent and I was like whoa that smelled like the advent calendar it was scented and if it was scented that probably means it was Avon and so I quickly ran to the computer and looked it up and I found it um, and it wasn't just one store it's like a fold-out thing of multiple stores um, and so I was so excited to find it, but there were none for sale at the time. So I like stalked all these different websites. I finally found it on Mercari uh, like a year and a half later after I had the memory. Um, and so I'm like so pleased to have that in my personal collection. Um, I also have a Hallmark one that is shaped like a tree. It's felt and it's like really big. It's like two and a half or three feet long and it has little magnet ornaments that you put all over the tree each one has a date on the back and um, I love that one very much and then I have another one that's cardboard and it has just cute dog like drawings on it um, I like an advent calendar 
I try to like use them all too. Um, but you know, that sort of falls by the wayside sometimes because life. <clears throat> all right. Now the next thing I'm going to show you might scare some of you. So let's just put it out there. This is, <laughs> if you don't like clowns, you're going to want to skip this next part. Um, these are an collectible porcelain by Showstoppers, Lakewood, New Jersey. That sounds like something that would be from New Jersey. This original collectible has been meticulously hand painted. The elegant fabrics used in the costuming have been delicately tailored to create a unique imagery to provide you with a lifetime of enjoyment. We sincerely hope it will. So there's nothing on the tag about it coming to life and, and killing you. They are wired and they are small. They are a Harlequin style doll. We've got um, porcelain, legs, hands, face, and the bodies are wired for posing. And I found a good number of these <laughs> all together in their finery, meticulously handcrafted. Um, and the reason why I, a person who does not appreciate a clown, um, got all of these is because they sell really well, you guys. It's very strange. They don't bring hundreds of dollars or anything. They just are one of those things that usually sells very quickly. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to sell these all as a set. I might. Um, oh, wait, there's another one. Hold the phone. We've got a clown down. <sighs> yeah. So I got a million of these and <laughs> hopefully I might split them into two lots. We'll have to see. But I know that they sell well, especially the ones in the like lame fabric, the like metallic fabric. Guys, there's no accounting for taste. If you're one of these people who likes these, they'll be in my shop in about two weeks. I'm not meaning to say anything untoward about you or your tastes. It's just not for me particularly. Then I found this amazing doll. Um, she has a little tag that says, I believe, made it in Portugal. Tiny little tag. She is a stockinette doll. She's holding a fish in this hand. I assume she was supposed to be holding something in the other hand, but she is amazing. And like, look at her, the number of skirts this girl has. So intricate and adorable. She's wearing like two capes, 1200 skirts, an apron that has embroidery on it and lace. And she's just so, so fabulous. Look at this face. It's embroidered, fully embroidered face. Just gorgeous. I was very excited to find her. Um, I do not take all souvenir dolls. Um, I went through a period where I had just um, started kind of branching out at the bins and doing stuff other than like the vintage that I knew and the toys that I knew and stuff. And I came upon a whole host of, um, they were vintage, vintage souvenir dolls from different countries. And um, they don't all sell, <laughs> word to the wise. I still have a bunch of them in the shop. A bunch of them did sell. They don't bring much money at all, but like ones like this that are really like beautiful, handcrafted, a little bit larger, um, will. They will sell and they will bring a little bit more money. Okay, here is another doll slash plush. Does anyone recognize this? This was a little bit after my time. He has a tag right here that says Bubba, and I believe he has um, a voice box inside and he's supposed to be like a wise cracking bear, if I recall correctly. Um, 
predecessor possibly to Billy the Big Mouth Bass, just sort of like, I think he might sing some songs or something. So I don't know if he's gonna work, but I looked up comps on him because I don't, I've never sold him before and I don't know, but it seemed like if he worked and it was in good condition, which he's in very good condition, um, that he should maybe bring around 30, I think it said. <clears throat> so we'll see if he works. Um, I'll get into his voice box somehow. Let's see. I don't know. Somehow, sometimes they make it really hard to like find the opening. Usually you just like open the back up and there the stuff is, but sometimes you have to like skirt around clothing and, um, you know, sometimes I hide it really well on a seam that is not the back seam. So I will find it and we will see. Okay. More plush. Oh, let's see if I can find a tag on him actually. Let's see if I can get a date on this guy. Eesh. Oh, there's a tag way down in there. Way down yonder. Oh, okay. Real Talkin' Bubba, 1997 by Tycho. So Real Talkin' Bubba is his full name. His Christian name. All right, so... I don't see any dates on the ones I'm about to show you, but they are Disney plush. I think, judging by their quality, I would say that they are older, probably vintage. And here's two characters that you don't see a whole lot of. This is the gopher um, from Winnie the Pooh, obviously. He whistles when he talks, if you remember the uh, cartoons. And this is Rabbit. Type A personality, doesn't love Pooh coming over for a visit because he, you know, makes things disorderly. <laughs> Rabbit spends a good time ordering his life. Um, but I thought these were in great condition and they are um, made really, really well. It doesn't say that they were sold um, in the Disney store or in the Disney parks, but I'm gonna bet that it was the parks. I'm just trying to find a place to put this. Okay, couple more plush. We'll do one more vintage plush from the 90s. This is something that I'd never seen before. But this is Fisher Price, um, 1999. And she's got like a little bell it looks like um and a little bird up here and she has a plastic face um but she looks like one of the little people um the little you know fat fat guys um when they switched over to the fatter little people and but if this is a doll version i've like never seen this before um so i thought it was cool i looked up comps there's a bunch of them for sale but um i got her anyway just because I wanted to do the research. I wanted to see if there were like any other of, you know, the dolls of this style. Um, I thought she was just really, really cute. Um, <clears throat> so there she is. I love going to the bins because, or thrifting in general, I guess, or, you know, going to yard sales or wherever you're going because you just never know what you're gonna find. You're not seeing the same stuff all the time, um, which is really exciting. Okay, this is Think Geek. Wait, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> and this is the little Android guy. And um, weirdly enough, his parts come off. I'm not real sure why that is, um, but Usually when I see a Think Geek tag, um, I go ahead and look it up or just pop it in my cart. Let's see if this has a date on it. No, it does not. But um, I know that, you know, Think Geek can't be bought everywhere. So um, I've sold all of the Think Geek, Think Geek, things that I have bought have sold pretty quickly. So I'm excited about that. We'll have to see. I'm not sure how much she brings. Okay. 
So for the last set of things that I'm going to show you, I'll set this up. It was a new cart that got rolled out at the bins and I like kind of let the swarm go through. And if you know, if you've been to the bins, you know exactly what that means. I usually wait for the swarm to die down. I'm not a throwing elbows type of person. Um, it just annoys me. I don't like to be that close to other human beings. <laughs> so, uh, and then I came over and I saw this, a bunch of different boxes that look like this. And I was like, oh, that is something from the eighties or nineties for sure. So I grabbed it. And then I saw that it says Easter 1992 on it. And I was like, well, all right, I was correct. What is this Avon or what do we got going on? And then inside is styrofoam. And so I just quickly peeked into one of these. And I was like, ooh, that's like snow babies situation. Who is making this? Department 56. And so I just grabbed all of the boxes. I have not looked inside all of them yet. Um, I thought maybe we could do that together. This is Easter 1994, so they're not all from the same year. Um, someone got on a kick. Let's see if you can see this without me dropping it out. It's a little chick. Um, but in my experience, Department 56 is usually worth picking up. I mean, sometimes, you know, there'll be things that won't bring a whole lot of money, but like I sold two tiny little elves, like little, they kind of look like gnomes, but I think they were like Christmas elves. And for like, I don't remember, but it was way more than I thought I was gonna get. This is Easter 1995. And, um, I mean, they have all of their wrapping. That one even had a tag around its neck. So I don't know if these have ever even been taken out or used, um, which is pretty cool. 1993. This is a, oh, a duck, like a little duckling. So cute. Um, so I'm, like, pretty interested to look up comps on these and get them listed, see what they'll bring. Um, you know, I just love saving stuff like this from the dump. This is Easter 1991 because the next step after the bins, as we all know, is the dump. And this one is a little lamb. Those are so cool. Hand-painted porcelain bisque department 56. So I will spend some time in the coming weeks looking these up and getting them listed. But what a treasure, you know, to find these um, and save them from the landfill. I just love that kind of thing. <sighs> my, my legs are covered in glitter right now. That's how you come home from the bins though. Be forewarned. If you go to the bins, you're gonna come home covered in glitter and dust and like pet hair. Okay guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm sorry that I'm not up to my normal standards and that I sound more like I'm from New York today than I ever have before. Um, but if you will give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment and tell me to get well soon. <laughs> I would sure appreciate it. I'm gonna leave some links below to my shops. Um, and then when these items get put into my shops, I will put up direct links to all of those. Um, and usually it'll be somewhere around two weeks before these get put up. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to go have some liquids and blow my nose. <laughs> so until I see you next time, I invite you to go out and find treasure.